without ever surfacing for air, without refueling for 30 plus years, generating massive power quietly while carrying nukes, sensors, and even future lasers. It is the reality of nuclear-powered submarines, the apex predators of the deep. In 2025, with classes like US Virginia Block 5, Russia's Yasin M, and China's Type 095 advancing, the advantages are game-changing. The unlimited endurance and stealth that makes them ghosts, let's break down why nuclear subs dominate, and why the high cost is worth it. The biggest advantage? Of course, on unlimited range and endurance. Nuclear reactors use enriched uranium for fission, producing heat to steam turbine electricity, without burning oxygen or needing air. A single core lasts 20 to 33 years e.g. Virginia class approximately 33 years before refuel. No snorkeling like diesel subs, which must surface regularly for air fuel. The result, subs like USS Nautilus, first nuclear 1954, crossed Arctic under ice. Modern ones circumnavigate globe submerged. This is become more scary. The only real limit is crew food stores, typically three to six months, plus morale. As one admiral quipped, the limiting factor is how much peanut butter the crew can stand. No noisy diesel engines, only main coolant pumps and reduction gears. Modern designs minimize even those with natural circulation or electric drive. Pump jet propulsors replace loud props. Acoustic signatures so low they're nearly undetectable at cruise. This so goo fought intelligence charge surveillance, anti-sub warfare or shadowing carriers. Diesel subs are quiet or stopped but can't sustain speed quietly. Nuclear can patrol indefinitely silent. The reactors generate gigawatts equivalent for long periods, supporting heavy payloads. More VLS for Tomahawks UD SLBMs. Ohio class 154 missiles, advanced sonar arrays, and future tech like lasers, US Helios testing, or hypersonics. Excess electricity for crew comforts, better air purification, desalination for unlimited water, even gyms, boosting morale on long patrols. But the problem is always the money. Build costs three to eight billion dollars per sub, like Virginia approximately 3.6 billion dollars, Seawolf approximately five billion dollars adjusted, plus reactor expertise and security. Maintenance slash refueling billions more. Diesel subs cheaper, quieter stopped for ambushes. But nuclear speed slash endurance wins open ocean dominance. In 2025, US has 68 nuclear attack subs. Russia, approximately 30. China ramping to 20 plus, 